We're following breaking news this morning. Reports that another American is dead at the hands of ISIS. The terror group claims it beheaded aid worker Peter Kasich. CBS 2's Alana Gold is in our newsroom with the latest details. Alana? Diane, overnight ISIS released video of an execution. So right now the White House is trying to confirm if it is Peter Kasich. And the National Security says if that's the case, it's appalled by the brutal murder of an innocent American. New claims of Peter Kasich's possible beheading comes less than two months after ISIS released this video, threatening he was next on the execution list, a video his parents watched from thousands of miles away. And there's your son. And you sit there and you have to watch. Peter Kasich was kidnapped in October 2013. The 26-year-old aid worker was taken during a mission in eastern Syria. He decided to take this path after serving briefly in Iraq. His parents say he was in the process of converting to Islam when ISIS got a hold of him, then changed his name to Abdul Rahman, which means servant of the most merciful. He always was a compassionate person, and this was just something he felt he needed to do. His mother and father in suburban Indiana have been pleading with ISIS for weeks now, trying to spare his life, posting videos on YouTube and sending messages over Twitter. But I have to try. Because I need to know that I've done everything I can do. The recent murder of American journalist Stephen Sotloff prompted this family to reach out to the terrorist group because Sotloff was once Peter Kasich's cellmate. The dynamics have changed now. So the Kasichs took a chance, hoping ISIS would hear their pleas. But they tell us the terrorist group has been nothing but resistant. No. They demand. They simply demand. And their demands have always been ones that we cannot accommodate. Clearly a very tough time for his parents. Now they just released a statement saying they're waiting to find out if the execution did in fact happen. And again, right now the White House is trying to confirm this. Reporting in the newsroom, Ilana Gold, CBS 2 News. All right, Ilana, thanks. Just